greatest attractions of Amsterdam in the Netherlands. In this video, I will show you the most fantastic attractions of Amsterdam in the Netherlands. This video is surely going to help you spend your visit to Amsterdam by checking out these famous landmarks. Let's start the video. The city of Amsterdam is located in the Netherlands. Amsterdam is on the itinerary. For many, this is the fulfillment of a long-cherished fantasy. Like New York City in the United States, Amsterdam is a bustling metropolis. There is always something to do in Amsterdam. Whether you are a history buff, an art lover, or a night owl, we've developed a list of the city's most fantastic attractions for some visitors to Amsterdam who don't know where to visit. The Rijks Museum takes the first place on the list to visit. A visit to the National Museum of Art is a must for art enthusiasts and those who just wish to view some of the most stunning works of art ever created. With its stunning architecture, the Rijks Museum admirably complements its collection of masterpieces. It's easy to get lost in the exhibits and discover artists you have never heard of while revisiting old favorites. Rembrandt's Night Watch is a must-see. It ranks among the greatest works of art ever created. The Van Gogh Museum is the next stop. Vincent Van Gogh himself designed and constructed the Van Gogh Museum. This museum has a wide variety of artwork to choose from. It's impossible to visit Amsterdam without stopping by Vincent Van Gogh's home and studio. You don't need to spend a lot of time at the Van Gogh Museum. Just try to perceive things through the artist's eyes as much as possible. This man had a unique perspective on life and the world, but he was surrounded by darkness and turmoil in his own life. He deserves to be recognized for the brilliance of his work because of this. When you tour the world's most extensive collection of his art, take your time. The Red Light District is the next site to visit. Amsterdam's Red Light District is a famous tourist destination and a source of much debate. It's not a good idea to bring young ones with you. If you are interested and cautious, you will see a different aspect of the city if you spend more time in this area. Every time you come here, you will find something intriguing to look at. It's best to prevent significant complications when visiting by being cautious while snapping images and using common sense. The Anne Frank Museum is the next destination for visitors. This museum is not meant to be a place of entertainment. Instead, it serves as a somber reminder of a tragic period in human history. Many individuals are already acquainted with this location. Many people are familiar with the tragic yet fascinating tale of Anne Frank, thanks to her diary being obligatory reading in many schools. Even more interesting is the fact that Anne Frank's home is now a museum and teaching facility. It's not a place you wanted to go, either. Take a walk through the house's hallways and into the hidden annex, and you will feel the cold. The Westerdern comes next. If you are in Amsterdam, this is one of the city's trendiest historical landmarks and also one of the city's most incredible historical places. The views from the top of this tower, which is Amsterdam's tallest and most beautiful, are spectacular. Make sure you get there early to secure your spot on a guided tour since only a limited number of people may go up. Your camera will come in handy at the summit, so don't forget to pack it. The Bloemen Market is the next place to visit. The Sinjal Southern Bank is home to a floating flower market. It's a bustling market that provides Amsterdam with its daily supply of fresh flowers. As a result, it has grown in popularity with visitors and residents alike, leading to kiosks offering various unusual products from this region. Get the most Dutch souvenirs imaginable if you go shopping in this region. If you're on a tight budget, you can enjoy the sights and stay at one of Amsterdam's most affordable hostels. The next stop is Vondel Park, one of the few public parks in the world where you may engage in illicit activities is Vondel Park. If you're looking for additional entertainment, there are pathways around the park, 
a rose garden, and an outdoor theater to enjoy. You may also go for a jog, a bike ride, or a picnic in the park with your pals. Albert Kite Market comes next. It's easy to dismiss this as nothing more than a marketplace, but you had be mistaken. This tourist attraction is ideal if you want to get away from the tourist traps and enjoy natural living. You will be able to see folks negotiating for their goods and going about their daily routines in this neighborhood. And it's a terrific chance to experience a different aspect of the city known worldwide. A wide variety of food, clothing, and souvenirs are available. The Nine Streets is the final stop in today's video. There's a lot of quirky charm crammed into a bit of space in the Nine Streets, a historic neighborhood, because the businesses on the Nine Streets provide something different from what you will find in most department stores. They are fun to browse. Consider spending a whole day or afternoon strolling the Nine Streets. There is also a lot of history here and odd cafes and shops selling some of the most unique and intriguing products you will ever have. This was all from my side to guide you about the most fantastic attractions of Amsterdam and the Netherlands. Please subscribe and press the bell button if you are new to the channel so you don't miss any new stuff. Comment below if this video was helpful or if you have any concerns regarding traveling ideas.